Hey, River Church, how are you guys doing today? Uh, my name is Billy. I'm going to be leading all through today's devotional. Um, this year has been a crazy year. Um, it has just, it seems like it's blow after blow after blow after blow that has happened to us as a country, um, to us as a world, but specifically us as a country, right? Um, most recently, uh, our country experienced the death of George Floyd. Uh, and that was just a heartbreaking situation, heartbreaking situation. Um, and then lately, since then, we, we, we've had uh, these riots, and, and those have also been just heartbreaking situations. So I've been thinking about it. And how does the church respond to uh, what's going on? Uh, and, and specifically now, specifically with this this uh the the death of george floyd and and just what's happened since then how do we how do we respond to this how do we find comfort in this right uh pastor randy did a fantastic job uh, earlier this week in his devotional and he was talking about um what god's heart is for and who god's heart is for uh and, and our hearts as Christians should align we should want the things that god wants it's a fantastic devotional um, check it out if you haven't checked it out but so i'm not going to talk too much about that but i want to i want to talk to us as christians where are we going right what is going to happen uh where what, what's going to happen with us where are we going is it always going to be like this um and if 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 we look back in genesis right this this well before we go to genesis but this 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 racial tension this this divide um this, this separation, this segregation that we are experiencing, that we are feeling right now, that's, that's not how God's original perfect design was, right? In Genesis 3, I'm sorry, in Genesis 1 and 2, God creates Adam and Eve and he says, be fruitful and multiply, right? And so he wants them to fill the earth. And, and, and just in that statement, like there's going to be a multitude of people together living perfectly, right? And then in Genesis 3, we see Adam's sin, and then that beautiful design that God had in the garden was broken. But that, but that was the original design. And the beautiful thing is a Christian, uh, in heaven, that's how things are going to be again, right? And, and, and this garden city, not the Garden of Eden, but this garden city with God, that's how things are going to be. Revelation chapter 7 uh, it says, after, after this, I looked and there was a vast multitude from every nation, tribe, people, language, which no one could number, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. Man, they're going to be standing in front of Jesus, this multitude of people, people of every color, every race. Every language, every tongue, every tribe are going to be united together. It's going to be a beautiful picture. Beautiful picture. Um, and so that, that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. So um, what, 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 what you may be thinking right now, though, is, okay, Billy, like, that's, that's where we're going. That's awesome. Like, that's, that's, that's great that, that this, what we're experiencing right now is, was not part of God's perfect design. Um, but, but where does that leave me today in, on, on uh, June 4th, right? To 2020, how, what do I do, how do I uh, deal with this? <clears throat> and uh, as, as, as Christ has saved you, as Christ has called you to himself, as Christ has, has taken your heart from death to life, right? He has given you, this ministry of reconciliation, this ministry of bringing every nation and every tongue and every tribe and every people together. Man, uh, it's a beautiful thing, right? We, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are going to this place in heaven to be with all people in the future. Yes, God has given us that ministry to do today. We get a glimpse of this beautiful picture in heaven here on earth today. Christ has given us the message of reconciliation, right? Christ is, is, is drawing to himself, right? People from all nations, right? He has, given, he has charged us with being this mouthpiece to speak into this situation with the life 
saving news of the gospel, right? This brokenness that we talked about, uh, or, or this perfect design that we talked about in Genesis was broken with Adam's sin. It's broken with my sin. It's broken with our sin, right? It's, things are not how they once were brokenness and out of this brokenness we, we try and do all of these things to to make it right again and that just doesn't happen and jesus says no i'm gonna i'm gonna make it right you guys can't make it right i'm gonna make it right and jesus came and lived a perfect life for us died for us was buried and was resurrected for us to reconcile us to the father to bring back this beautiful picture right um it's 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 where we are going in heaven but we we start to get to experience it now and so christian as as we have this good news of the gospel let's speak this 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 good news uh, to our friends to our neighbors man i'm convinced the only thing that can Pro, uh, provide lasting change in this situation is the good news of the gospel. Um, so, Christian, uh, today, today, as 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 we as we um, think about the rest of our week and just go about speaking into the situation, one find a rest in Jesus. Right, He is the rock. We have built our foundation. We are building our found our lives on His solid foundation. There is comfort. Right, everything in our country right now is 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 seems so um, out of whack, so polarizing. Opinions are everywhere. Christ is a solid rock, in which we are building our life on. He's the cornerstone. Um, so rest in that. And then do the work of the ministry, share the gospel, make disciples, share this message of reconciliation. Um, I love you guys. We'll see you.